Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 24th through to the 30th. I went ahead, shuffle of cards. Let's see what's happening for the cabbies. First up, we have Major Arcana Chariot in the upright, followed then by the Four of Pentacles reversed. Next, we have the Three of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Knight of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Hanged Man reversed. So for your overall energy, you have the Cancer Energy Chariot in the upright position. Well, it's a good energy to have if you want things to move quickly because with the chariot they do move very quickly sometimes the chariot is it's very black and white energy it's like all we have to do is get in the car step on the gas and away we go it's very fast moving energy some of you this week could be looking at purchasing a vehicle Maybe um, you're buying an RV and, and taking a trip this week, or it could be that you're buying a new motorcycle, or you could be buying a new car. Um, take your pick. It could be any of those things. Any of the things that move very quickly. Some of you could be buying horses. <laughs> well, okay. So fast moving energy throughout the week for you, something could be coming along now this is usually assured success it's very black and white so it's like you either you get offered something for example you get offered something you either take it or you don't take it but it's pretty much assured if you do decide to take it that you will be the winner because in the chariot energy this is also representing uh, a victory a fast moving victory that could be coming into your life quickly so it's just basically like hey out of the blue for some of you it could be that you get this job offer and the job some of you the job could be involving travel it could be in, involving traveling um or it could be um, selling cars. I'm not sure what it is, but it could be uh, something. It, it's not that it could be. It will be something that is exciting. Because look at the blue. Uh, sorry, no. Well, there is blue in there, but there's yellow. A lot of yellow in the uh, the chariot energy, which represents a lot of confidence. The blue is like communication. So it could be that you're feeling very confident that's why you're moving so quickly towards whatever this is that's coming coming at you <laughs> so it could be it's victory it's success it's all kinds of things here but it's just a matter of you have to reach out and grab it and take it if you want it because it's yours the success and the victory is yours if you want it you just need to reach out for it it's really fast moving just don't steamroll over anyone's toes as i always say but yeah i know i was rambling on the the chariot because i feel very rushed out when i picked up the cards very well not just excited but more just rushed out like i need to do this i need to grab this opportunity i need to move with i need to you know take this trip i need to do something and speaking of trips if any of you have a trip planned this week it looks like uh all systems are go things will be uh smooth it'll be smooth travel smooth trip beautiful energy but speedy <laughs> don't speed okay just don't speed <laughs> um first card up is the four of pentacles in the reverse position which points back to the three of pentacles which happens to be the right the next card so obviously we're talking here about um getting to a point of working with others in tandem where there is a lot of cooperation right but let's just stick with the four uh, pentacles in the reverse because this can indicate releasing a lot of old belief systems and maybe you will need to in order to either take this trip or take this offer that's coming towards you you may need to let go of old belief systems for some reason let me know in the comment section below if this is making sense to you guys because sometimes when an offer comes our way um, we may have a belief system against it like oh maybe i don't you know i wouldn't fit in that type of job or i shouldn't do that kind of thing or what have you and that's limiting belief systems right maybe it's going to require you to let go of the belief systems that you had and just release that because where you're going to is a place of cooperation so don't worry about it 
Others of you, the Four of Pentacles in the upright, could point to maybe you had some type of, of um, you know, a bill that you had to pay on a monthly basis. Like, say, for example, it was a car. You were making car payments, car payments, and now it could be that the car payments are finally done, which would explain why some of you could be purchasing a new car. It's like, oh, I finally paid off this car. I think I'll trade it in and get another one and go back into payments again. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section. But... Yeah, this is what it's about. It could be about releasing some payments that you had. It could be paying off, say, uh, a loan, or it could be paying off some credit card debts, what have you. This is releasing yourself from a financial obligation that you were paying on a regular basis. Could be putting money aside for a trip or something like that, and perhaps you no longer have to save for said trip or said event. So now you have some more freed up cash, basically. And next card, of course, the Three of Pentacles in the upright position, which points to being on the same page. This could be working in a team of three. It could be indicating working. It's good news for those of you who just started a new job or about to start a new job. Like I said, you're going to be working with like-minded people. This is about everybody being happy with the progress that everyone is making. This could even playing out for, be playing out for some of you in the home. It could be where you're all getting together in order to, you know, maybe get ready for an event or get the house cleaned up or, you know, get the house packed up if you're planning on moving or something or even going on a trip. It's just everybody's being very, very cooperative, which is really important. People don't understand the importance of cooperation because when people, that's why I don't like the Five of Wands energy too much because that's all about everybody being at odds, whereas it can just waste a lot of time. And I'm not a person who's big on time wasting so that's why i love cooperation i love energies like the temperance and the three of pentacles because it represents that kind of being on the same page with other people when we are there is no telling what we <laughs> we can accomplish and get done so this is beautiful energy everybody's happy with the the progress of everyone else so we're moving together as a team and uh you know everything's Hunky dory. <laughs> Moving towards the weekend, we have good old pajama man here. It's Knight of Wands in the upright position. It is a core card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And I call him pajama man because it looks like he's wearing pajamas. That outfit is a little ridiculous to be out in public with. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you feel the same way too. It's a bit outrageous, but anyway, um, Knight of Wands is fun, exciting energy. The Wands are all about action, taking action, fast-moving action. We've got a lot of fast-moving stuff going on this week. Could be a fast-paced week for you, Capricorn. But the Knight of Wands, Knights always bring in some kind of offer for you. It could be um, an, an offer of a quick sale. If you have some, maybe you are putting your car up for sale or your house up for sale. And this is a quick, like a, an offer. The Knight of Wands comes in so quickly sometimes uh you can't even see you don't even see him coming he's just boom he's there it's quicksilver right very very fast moving energy he could just come in out of the blue and just make you an offer if you have your home up for sale your business your um uh, any kind of belongings he could just be like mm, okay i'm gonna come in he doesn't wait around too long uh to you know let you ponder <laughs> the offer the knight of wands usually wants their answer right away so just a heads up on that. But for others of you, this could be an offer to travel again. There's two energies here of travel. So perhaps some of you are taking some kind of spontaneous travel this week. Could be just a weekend thing for some of you. For others of you, maybe it's a more serious trip. But either way, Knight of Wands, funny. It's, it's is a, a funny character in the sense that he can just come in out of nowhere. Could be a friend showing up, um, you know, last minute calls you up and says, hey, you know, I'm coming for coffee and you haven't heard from this person like forever. And all of a sudden, boom, they're uh, calling you up and then they're at your door. Um, spontaneous energy could be offered to travel. It could be an offer for business. Uh, enterprise because wands govern those as well so remember this is just a general read so I'm giving a lot of different descriptions for things because it's going to be different for all of you 
And that's why I asked for the comments in the comment section, because let's see how many people this is resonating for. And maybe other Capricorns will be piping in to let you know that the same thing's happening with them as well. So it's good. We have a really good community here. So if you're new to the channel, don't feel, don't even hesitate for a minute to make your comments under there because you'll probably have a lot of support. Last card you have is the hangman in the reverse position. Well, this is all about um, returning to action. We see this is an action-packed week for you guys. Now, for some of you, the Knight of Wands is coming in, making this offer. And now you don't have to wait anymore. Maybe some of you were waiting for an offer to come in for, you know, whether it be your home, your business, or an offer to travel, or an offer for a job, or what have you. You've been waiting and waiting. Well, you no longer have to wait, because now the hangman is in reverse, indicating if we were waiting on other people or waiting on circumstances to change, the wait is over. So there you go. Or if you were just... Uh, sort of contemplating sometimes the hangman in the upright can point to contemplation trying to figure out things looking at things from a different perspective well you've made up your mind and you're now in the hangman reverse you're ready to move well you better be ready to move because there's a lot going on this week capricorn i wish you the best thank you so much for joining me i hope you have a fantastic week and i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next week take care much love namaste bye bye now